Hello, welcome. Read this problem, give it a shot, and press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so let's just read it. For x is greater than 0, okay, so I see we've got x in our denominator here, so we're, we want x to be larger than 0, otherwise we would be dividing by 0. And it says which expression is equivalent to this one right here. In other words, they want us to simplify this thing. How do we do that? Well, the third, this says the third root of x squared. Well, the third root of so x squared, then we have the third root of that, okay. The third root is just 1 over 3, just like the square root is 1 over 2, and so on and so forth. Then we have x to the fifth, and then the square root of that, and then we have just x to the first with the sixth root. So now we simplify this using our laws of exponents. Here we're going to multiply these exponents, right? A classic law of exponents. Here there's an exponent of 1, we're multiplying a sixth by 1, and we have 2 times 1 third is 2 thirds, and then we have 5 times a half is 5 halves, all over x to the 1 sixth. So all I did right there was apply the law that a to the m to the n equals a to the m times n. And then over here, let's apply two other laws. So in our numerator, we have, let's say, some base to the m times another equal base to the n. That's going to equal a to the m plus n. So we add 2 thirds and 5 halves. Uh, thirds and halves meet at sixths. So I'm going to scale this one up by 2 over 2. So it's 4 over 6, so same fraction, just scaled upwards. Um, plus, excuse me, I'm going to scale this up by a factor of 3 over 3, so it's 15 over 6. And then we still have to divide by x to the 1 sixth. All right, what do we do now with this? I'm going to write all the way over here now. So I'm going to come down here. We have x to the 19 sixth. All I did right there was add those two fractions. 4 and 5, 15 is 19 over 6. But then I'm going to subtract 1 sixth to get x to the 18 sixth, which is x to the third. 18 divided by 6 is 3. And the reason I did that is because we were dividing by x to the 1 sixth right here. A little sloppy, apologies. Um, and when we divide equal bases, we subtract. And that's I love that one because here, when we multiply equal bases, we add. So then the opposite is true if we are dividing equal bases, we can subtract the exponents. So if you have a to the m divided by a to the n, excuse me, that's a to the m minus n, we subtract those exponents. We're applying that law of exponents. So it's actually, this problem is interesting. It uses these in three major laws of exponents, and it gets us x to the third power, which is choice three. All right, I hope that helped.